is up everybody it is your boy geek of sneakers now today i want to talk about some releases that i've been meaning to talk about but i like i've said before in the last video i was busy for like over a month and now i have this job and today the day i'm recording this is fourth of july yeah, today i have the day off and i want to record as many videos as i can and this is one of them but without further ado let's get right into the intro if you are new to the channel make sure to hit that subscribe button we are doing a sneaker giveaway at a thousand subscribers where you can get to choose any sneaker that you want for 150 dollars or less we are only like 20 something away you know from from a thousand so if i were you you feel me there's that little you know subscribe button i don't know wait where is it yeah right there in the corner you feel me so like you know y'all should hit that up if you guys enjoy the video make sure to hit the thumbs up and make sure to follow me at geek of sneak underscore first release i want to talk about are the paris fives you guys could see on the shoe it says paris on the netting it has a suede upper and it has the number 75 down in the lower corner of the shoe quite similar to the paris tens that released back in 2016 how they had the number 75 on them the number 75 actually has to do with the paris zip code as all of them start with the number 75 a very nice touch that i like is that on the back of the shoe it has a modified psg logo with the jump man on it i really mess with that and the red and white stripes above it i think it adds a little bit more color to the shoe than just you know the black and gray same goes for the number 75 that is in the corner of the shoe as it is outlined in gray or outlined my as it is outlined in red there's no release date as of right now but i heard it's gonna be released in the summer of this year and that there's only gonna be i think 40,000 pairs so it's gonna be very very limited now i am really excited for the bread force to make a comeback in early 2019 the jordan fours in general are making a comeback in 2019 as it is the 30th anniversary of the shoe according to pino 77's ig page the bread for will release in april of 2019 it seems like a long time to wait but trust me the release is is gonna come you know sooner than you know it we're already like you know a little bit more than half done with 2018 and it feels like new year's was just yesterday the bread force are expected to get the og treatment with the nike air on the back this is my favorite og colorway of the jordan 4 because of the look and because of the history behind it the last time the bread force came out were back in 2012 when they had the nike air i mean they had the jump man in the back instead of the nike air another jordan 4 that is rumored to make a comeback next year is the fire red fours for me it is my second favorite og colorway of the fours and they are also expected to get the nike air treatment in the back the last time they came out was also in 2012 a lot of people were saying that the leather on the fire red fours and the cement fours back in 2012 were kind of cheap and hard so i'm personally myself wondering if the fire red fours next year are gonna have kind of like the same leather that the 2016 version of the cement forest had how it was kind of soft and it creased easily but it was better quality i feel like that's how the leather is going to be for the fire reds next year when they come out but you know i'm just speculating next up i want to talk about the jordan 6 black infrared that is rumored to release in february 2019 another very iconic shoe as mj wore that colorway back in 1991 when he won his first nba championship last release of the black infrared sixes were back in 2014 and in my opinion i liked it but a lot of people weren't you know they weren't happy with the colorway because of the infrared color which looked a lot more pink than infrared i don't know if that's going to change in 2019 but i do know that the colorway is supposed to have the nike air on the back too this is another release that i definitely have my eye on for next year last but finally not least i want to talk about the concord 11 it's releasing later this year in december a few months ago rumors did break out that the concord 11s will be releasing later this year and i have talked about the shoe before in a past video about how it was rumored to release but i am bringing it back up because because actual pictures of the shoe have surfaced. It has the high patent leather cut and in my opinion it does look better than the 2011 version that had the lower patent leather cut. And one more thing that is different is the number 45 in the back instead of the 23. I really hope that this is going to be a GR but even if it is a GR I feel like it's still going to be really hard to cop because it is a very you know it's an iconic shoe it's a classic shoe so a lot of people are going to be you know wanting wanting the cop even if it is a gr i feel like it's gonna sell out the price for them as usual i feel like is gonna be for 220 dollars as it is every year for the jordan 11s tell me what you guys think about the upcoming releases i talked about and any releases that you guys know about down in the comment section below again if you guys enjoyed make sure to hit the thumbs up make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified every time i post a new video join the notification gang you guys can follow me on twitter and ig at geek of sneak underscore it's been your boy harry aka geek of sneakers aka geek of sneaks aka geek aka g o 
ass and I'm out. Peace. <laughs>